Hey folks, Engineer775 here, wanting to talk to you about uh, prepper transportation. Don't have to tell you about uh, fuel prices, they continue to go up, uh, crippling uh, many folks, and they're crippling the economy, it goes on and on. So, um, you know that I've been working on uh, different ways of transportation, using alternative fuels, alternative means, you've seen the wood gas truck. I've probably started and run my truck about 60 times now, and again, it's a... Uh, it's an experiment. I have an old truck. I'm, I'm keeping a EMP in mind. Um, could I could I run in the could I have transportation in, in that kind of scenario? So that's why I chose a very old 1962 Ford truck with a gasifier that has uh, basically no moving parts in it. Uh, that being a gasifier. So, uh, but I'm also looking at what what can I do now for transportation that would uh, save our family a lot of money and uh, possibly run for free. And so behind me is a, a car I just picked up. I picked up a, a Passat, a 1997 uh, turbo diesel, and been looking for a little diesel car to play around with with alternative fuels. And so I got this uh, Passat at a really, really good price. And um, it potentially would be my daughter's first car. And she's been driving it around here on the farm. And uh, with five speed so she'll be she'll be ready for the road when she's getting got her license so she's she's getting real good with it but dad's got to fix a few things with the clutch and uh, door handles and just a few minor issues but a car runs really really well um, what I want to do with this Passat and I'll show you let me show you the car so here's the car it's a Passat turbo diesel fuel injected and it is a uh, pretty good pretty good shape nice little sedan and uh, again four cylinder turbo diesel have to do a few things the clutch is sticking this car's been sitting out for about a year and a half with not not running just sitting so just a few minor details but I've been driving it all over the place it needs uh, probably need to put a new serpentine belt in it just because I don't know when the last time it was changed and uh, but engine wise it's fine what I'm gonna be doing is experimenting with different fuels. I'm running some vegetable oil mixture now uh, basically the dieselsecrets.com formula which is just fil filtering vegetable oil uh, used vegetable oil adding uh, the diesel secrets additive which is basically a drier de-icer from what I can figure out and then um, adding a gallon of gas per 55 gallons of vegetable oil and so running some of that probably about 20 percent that right now I just want to ease into this don't want to kill kill this car just starting to experiment with fuels um, I've also checked out different packages uh, one of them is uh, greasecar.com and where you can actually get a kit and put a tank in the trunk and run uh, vegetable oil it will preheat the oil before it hits the injectors that's an option I'm looking at um, in terms of running just pure straight vegetable oil in, in the car. Also looking at uh, getting a centrifuge to uh, take waste motor oil and uh, filter that. Um, basically spin out all the particulate and then run waste motor oil with the number two diesel. Transmission fluid will also run and I know there are there are issues with running anything alternative, but uh, I have nothing in really invested in this car. So if I kill it, my daughter's going to be real upset because she's wanting this to be her car come September. So hopefully what we're trying to do, though, is come up with a way where we can run for free or close to it. Just a little bit of labor, but be able to run this car, which gets about 45 miles to the gallon now, so it's really good. But if we can, uh, say... Uh, prolong that or effectively double that by burning free free motor free vegetable oil waste motor oil transmission fluid kerosene any mixture thereof so I know there's a lot of people making their own fuels from other products and so any feedback would be appreciated but this is uh, I'm calling this my my prepper Passat project um, because uh, we want to come up with ways where we can still run as fuel prices go up and uh, to be able to run for close to nothing and uh, then we always have the backup the gasified Ford but uh, anyway a lot of different ways to 
uh, to go when it comes to alternative fuels for transportation and uh, and then behind the scenes of it all is making making our own diesel synthetic diesel from the gasification process and that is a that's a huge project it is has been done in university uh, settings and uh, laboratories and um, I'm hoping to uh, maybe get somebody out there to to sponsor that because that's going to require some uh, research and development to go from the synthesis synthesis gas wood gas into a synthetic diesel okay that okay if if all else fails and you can't get any of those fuels wood diesel gas vegetable oil waste vegetable oil motor oil transmission fluid kerosene uh, goes on and on then you can ride a cow or walk um, I think I try the cow though